Okay, what we have here is a Asus motherboard that was brought to us uh, by FedEx. It was actually shipped in from uh, North Carolina. We actually have a stack of them over here, so um, this may be the first of a few in this video. So what we have going on is uh, we're just going to put it on this bench over here and test it out and see what happens. So we're going to cut our screen on. And then we have our hookups plugged in and our screen. So what we're going to do is push the power button here or here. All right, so when we push this, we get a rapid flash that appears like that. And we actually have a startup and a screen. So, not exactly sure what's going on with this thing. Um, we'll try it one more time. Uh, our user is saying that they get no video on it and there's nothing going on, period. So, again, we'll push this button. Interesting enough with this BIOS, we have speakers hooked up. And you actually get a startup sound out of it. Uh, pretty cool if you ask me. So, um, what we're going to do is take this, unplug it again, plug it back in, and we're going to try to go into the BIOS and see what we can find out. Um, this actually may take us a second, um, strictly for the fact that I don't know where the hookups are. Alright, so we got, got everything plugged in. Got to remember how to get into the BIOS on this thing. I think it's F2. So we'll see what happens if I'm right. It appears I am. So, our user was right in the fact that it seems to be a video issue because we have artifacting here. And this is atypical with a system that is a uh, Intel model. With Intel models, you'll get um, artifacting like this and screen distortion. So, what we're going to do is take and uh, reflow this GPU here and this uh, GPU here and then of course there are uh, there's a chipset on the underside of here that we need to get to so um, that's what we're actually going to do we'll take it apart and reflow it and then uh, see what happens okay we've got to take it apart um, take it out of the case so what we're going to do is clean this like we normally clean it we're actually going to take and wash it and uh, replace this with a good thermal compound. Uh, the nice thing about this one, uh, I could say for ASUS, is they actually segment their parts. So there's no re reason for us to take this off. But the reason I made this note to stop here is this right here that's on the board this is not plastic and it is a buffer shield to keep the copper from uh, shorting out those capacitors but this is the high heat tape um, all the systems that have the capacitors on top that have that tape um, you can replace it with it. But too often I'm seeing people who put electrical tape or they put um, any kind of other stuff on top of it. But what you need to put is not electrical tape or anything like that. It is this high density, high heat uh, tape that was originally on it. You could actually put that on there, but you... Are running the risk that when you do it it's not going to do anything well for your uh, GPU so just keep that in mind when you're doing it 
uh, anything rubberized or plastic insulates. It causes the GPU to heat up faster, so the trade-off of you placing uh, a copper shim to lower the temperature by 5 to 10 and even 15 degrees uh, will be relatively uh, dampened over time by the insulation caused by the rubberized electrical tape or any other plastics coating that you're going to put on there. So just keep that in mind when you're doing it. Okay, so we've completed our reflow, put everything back together, and uh, have it set up. We're going to cut our screen on. Just as an FYI, I know I have a lot of people who ask or state or say um, that the videos are useless when they don't show the actual process. I have plenty of videos that show the process. So this one right here, I'm just going to kind of speed through. So, we're going to take this and press the power button, that other power button, and um, that power button. Wow, it's been a rough morning. So, let's turn it on and see what happens. Looks like we have video there. Let's get to the BIOS. Oh, we have clear picture. So we're going to let this do its thing. It's set for uh, 1232, so we're going to let it run for uh, two hours or so and see what happens and make sure it holds up. So let's let it do what it's going to do, and then we'll come back to it. Okay, so now we've um, let our system run. For the allotted time so we're gonna call this one complete and done we'll say that it's good and uh, we'll say it's finished that'll be that on this one